So now we're going to look at how we can prevent cross-site scripting in our application. And cross-site scripting is basically where you can insert um, JavaScript or HTML into places like inputs and then send them along. And this can be used to run malicious code. And if you want to see a great example of why this is dangerous, uh, you should check out this video by Web Dev Simplified. And I, that really um, makes a point about how um, this can be exploited. And there's a way we can um, prevent this from happening. And that's because that's the fact that most browsers have this header that we can set. And it, it adds some basic um, cross-site scripting protection. And what it does is if it detects um, stuff like, you know, semicolons, curly brackets, angled brackets like this, which are almost obviously part of like JavaScript or HTML code, what it will do is it'll basically sanitize it, which means it'll encode it in a way that the information gets across without using the actual characters themselves. And um, what we want to do here is we want to mount a middleware called a helmet.xss filter. And again, in this challenge, we have to use version 2.3.0. And as far as I know, um, I've been reading a lot about this. In this version, what it does is it sets this header um, to one right here, which means it enables that filtering. And in the later version of um, helmet, by the way, um, in four onwards, it actually does the opposite and it sets it to zero because ironically, in this kind of cross-site protection, if you look at this um, issue right here, it was found to actually allow um, hackers um, in to get to get into um, stuff more easily. So it could implement, we could bypass more security measures and stuff. So ironically, yeah, it did become a failure. But for as far as we're concerned for this challenge, uh, and when we're using version 2.3.0 to pass this challenge, um, this method actually does indeed allow it, or it turns the header to one. So what we want to do here is make sure that we mount this for all routes. So in my app.js, down here, we want to just do app.use, and then inside this, we want to call the helmet middleware, and it's going to be .xss filter. And again, this will set the um, header or XSS protection header to one, which will make the browser um, sanitize all the uh, inputs that it receives. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to do really to, for this challenge. So you can go ahead and submit that right here. And you'll see that it passes, and then we can move on.